Once upon a time, in a land far, far away. The way to the north, Norway, consisting of barely five million people. A land known for its many world champions. On cross-country skiing. In the middle of these champions, there was a child prodigy who also wanted to become a world champion for chess, a sport with no traditions and only for a selected few chess nerds. Although many knew Magnus Carlsen as a chess player, few knew there was a world championship in November and that he was attending it. Even though so little attention was known about this event, VG wanted to go for the largest chess promotion of all time and give the readership the ultimate courage and awareness of the event taking place in India. The solution became a live streaming internet service called VG Direct. Here you could see the last moves from both Anand and Carlson. After each move, Houdini, the chess computer, made suggestions for what could be the next move from the opponent. Since chess could be hard for some to understand, we had a dashboard that showed the winning chances for Carlson and his rival Anand. We also simplified the chess game by making simple explanations of what was going on so that everyone could follow the game. In addition, we also had chess experts explaining the game using chess lingo so that we didn't exclude the chess enthusiast. We created a dialogue with the audience by letting them comment directly on the website and via Twitter. In the upper corner, we streamed the live studio feed from the web broadcast that explained the chess game in a simple and entertaining manner. On our team, we had the beloved author Hans Olaf Lalung, a character who knows a lot about most things, including chess. Erik Nin Hansen heter väl han. Brittiska troppen brände ju ner det vita huset bland annat och det är väl relativt dramatiskt. During 15 days, we sent 10 marathon broadcasts from the Chess World Championship from Chennai in India. The broadcast was recorded in Norway, but the live portion came from India. Through a multimedia campaign directed towards people that did not know that chess could be exciting, we wanted to create a common feeling of national pride in the people from this little land and that it was VG that would bring you this historic moment in an entertaining and simple manner. In the typical spirit of VG, our choice was a slogan that would play on words. King is a term used in Norwegian when something is awesome or cool. And the same word is of course both the chess piece and our Royal Highness, the King. It was important for us to make our reporter Mads and Mr. Lalum as cheerful and entertaining as possible and make clear that this was supposed to be fun and entertaining and not a geeky sport for a selected few. 
When it came to the images of Magnus Carlsen, it was important for the VG logo to be visible on his arm, so the people understood that we were his sponsor. The weekend before the championship, we leaked clips from our exclusive documentary on Facebook. On Monday, the campaign was officially started with ads in our own mediums, paper, online and mobile. Plus ad shells around downtown Oslo and inside all public transportation around Oslo. At the subway stations, we used live video to build excitement around the fact that something huge was about to happen. A Norwegian could win an international event. In addition, VGTV published the documentary about Magnus Carlsen on VG.no and the paper edition had Magnus Carlsen on the front page. The day before the first game started, we posted a good luck video on Facebook where people could post likes and comments. This video was also used as the intro to the VG Direct shows. The actual number of possible different chess games is one with 120 zeros. That number is bigger than there are electrons in the universe. There was nothing to suggest that Norway was going to produce someone like Magnus Carlsen. Magnus is obviously a chess genius. His rating now is the highest in history. How that mind works to be five steps ahead of everybody else. Watching his games makes me feel proud about the game of chess. When the chess championship had started, we changed the focus from promoting the Magnus Carlsen documentary to encourage the readers to watch the championships live. The days with no games, the promotion for the documentary was again promoted. We made two radio spots, one for the days the games were played and one for the off days. I VG i dag følger vi selvfølgelig dagens sjakkparti mellom vår egen Carlsen og rivalen av mann. VGs Matsa Andersen og Hans Olav Lalum gir det alt om VM i sjakk på live-tjenesten VG Direkte. Maratonsendingen for dig som ikke tenker på sjakk når du hører ordet «konge». Hver dag for 2,3 millioner lesere, dagens viktigste nyheter og sport i VG. Norges mest leste. I VG i dag holder vi deg oppdatert på sjakken i Magnus Carlsens vinnekjanser i verdensmesterskapet i India. VG gir deg tidenes største satsing på sjakk-VM. For dig som ikke tenker på sjakk når du hører ordet «konge». Hver dag for 2,3 millioner lesere, dagens viktigste nyheter og sport i VG. Norges mest leste. On the subway stations we changed the ads to live video with the dashboard from VG Direct that showed the chances of who would win each game. The dashboard was updated in tune with the live online show. This is the first time that there has been a live update on digital ad shells in Norway. When the chess game was over for the day, the live update dashboard was changed to a static ad board. On the last and final day of the championship, we posted the good luck video again on Facebook. On the 22nd of November, it was official. Magnus Carlsen was the new chess world champion. Since it was impossible for us to predict the outcome of the championship, we had prepared ads that we could use in case he would win or lose. Because of this, we managed to change all digital ads to a congratulation ad three minutes after the final game was finished. The message of the ad was, Congratulations, Carlsen! We also spread the ads through social media. The VG logo was changed to a chess-like pattern for all platforms in celebration of the new champion. In addition, we asked the Norwegian people to vote for the best front-page suggestion for the next day's edition. 
In four hours, more than 47,000 individuals had voted. The results were beyond expectations. The viewership on the chess broadcast was five times higher than we had expected. The viewers for the documentary were three times higher than we expected. In the second week of the Games, we had more unique users than the government-owned national broadcasting station NRK Web TV. And they had the rights to the event. The knowledge for our sponsorship increased by 170%. Six out of ten Norwegians followed the chess championship. VG's online broadcast was seen by Norwegians all over the world. In taxis in Taiwan, before people went to parties, during lunch breaks, at schools and by politicians. Google had an increase of 5,000% for chess search. Half of all purchased apps on the top 10 list were related to chess. The retail stores were all sold out of chess boards. Magnus Carlsen's Facebook page went from little over 36,000 followers to over 235,000 in three weeks. Norway's largest bank had to limit the access for employees to watch the show because it slowed down the trading desk and the rest of the bank's computer systems. And our readers wanted more chess. We had created Chess Euphoria. The prodigy child had realized his dream and become a world chess champion and at the same time created a new national sport in Norway, chess. I'm particularly proud of the way we covered the chess championship because we got all the people from different um, areas of the media house working together. Started out with the people who assigned markets for our sponsorship. We promoted our coverage all over the city. Uh, the technicians and the editorial team worked together to create a way of covering chess which has never been experienced before. I think we changed the way people look upon web TV in this country forever and we created a friendly storm all over all the social media. It was a huge success for us.